Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How is everyone doing today? So, for this video, well, we have another batch of new and remaining uh, glitches on the game Halo MCC Insider um, for Flight 3, more specifically. And I must say, there's been quite a lot of bugs in this uh, build, but, you know, that's, that's exactly why they're doing the Insider program, so people can um, find all these bugs and help them out, and uh, they can make the final game as bug-free as possible as humanly possible I should say uh, nothing is ever entirely bug free but anyways we got 10 more to show you guys today uh, some of them are a lot of them are new some of them are, are still you know left over from older Halo game um, the original MCC I should say um, but anyways uh, let's get right into it so the first one is uh, on a mission 343 guilty spark um, this is during the uh, cutscene where you find Jenkins helmet and you take the chip out and you put it into your helmet and you get to watch what happened to him. Uh, after that whole cutscene is over, once the cutscene ends, well, I'll let you listen. So as you probably heard, there was no sound during a cutscene. It's a really weird glitch that seems to be uh, exclusive to the Insider build, the current Insider build. So this next one is actually a really big one, and I really should have made this one number one on the list. But um, anyways, here it is. So for Halo 2 on the mission Delta Halo, there is a cutscene where you're dropping down an ODST pods, and there's a grunt here, which depending on the difficulty you're playing on, that grunt will be playing with uh, different things. On easy difficulty, it's playing with um, a twig, I believe. On normal difficulty, it's playing with a plasma grenade. On heroic difficulty, it's playing with um, a couple of dolls. And on legendary difficulty, that grunt is playing with fire, like a fireball. Now, why does that matter? Well, right now, I am playing on legendary difficulty. And you can see it right here, legendary difficulty. However, as you just saw earlier in the cutscene, the grunt was not playing with fire. The grunt was playing with dolls. Dolls only shows up in the heroic cutscene on Halo 2 on this mission. So I'm going to switch to the uh, heroic cutscene and show you guys what happened. So basically, if legendary difficulty has the heroic cutscene, then what happened to the, uh, the other one? Well... The answer to that, and you will see this in a bit, but the answer to that is for some reason, and I have no idea like how this even happens uh, what, or what causes this, but for some reason, and as you can see now we are on heroic difficulty, the grunt is playing with fire on this difficulty. So for some reason, the <laughs> legendary cutscene and the heroic cutscene got switched. They got flip-flops somehow. and. Like, like I said, I have no idea like how that even happens, um, but for some reason that's what happened. <laughs> um, the difficulties, the difficulties are all correct and everything. Uh, I, I'm definitely on the right difficulties, but for some reason the cutscenes are flipped. Now this only affects classic mode. In anniversary graphics, the cutscenes are still fine. They are correct. They are so the correct cutscenes matching the correct difficulties, but only in classic difficulty and only on this mission, as far as uh, we can tell so far. The um, the cutscenes are flip flopped, which is the most bizarre glitch I've ever seen um, on the Insider so far. Uh, but anyways, so for the next one, for number three, uh, this one is a small one on the menu. Uh, the map description is um, every every map has their own map description, of course. But one particular map has a really interesting description. And this is actually thanks to uh, a lot of you guys in the comment section to the previous video we did about uh, MCC Insider bugs. Uh, someone pointed this out to me. But right here on the map Burial Mounds, you can see the description there. It says, remote industrial sites like this one are routinely uh, requisitioned and raised as part of uh, Spartan training programs or something like that. So, you know, what's, what's odd about that? Well, it's the wrong description. Um, it is actually the map description for the Halo 3 map, Last Resort. See, right there, it's the exact same description. And this is actually the correct one for Halo 3 Last Resort. So, another flip-flop here, I guess. Well, not exactly a flip-flop, but for some reason, somehow, a Halo 3 map description ended up 
as the description for the Halo 2 map. Uh, and, you know, I haven't had a chance to like, look through every single map description and cross-check them, so I'm not sure if any other maps uh, or missions are, you know, are misnamed or uh, description is mixed up. But, you know, if there's anything that I missed, any other weird descriptions on other maps, uh, you know, feel free to let us know in the comments, and um, we'll be sure to, uh, we might include in a future video uh, after we find even more bugs for MCC Insider. <laughs> uh, but anyways, for the next one, this one is on Halo 3. This is a smaller glitch, and it happens occasionally. Uh, some people have more drastic uh, versions of it. But there's a weird lighting glitch where certain objects or certain things just turn completely black on Halo 3. So right now you can see, like, for me, uh, the footsteps in the snow. They completely turn black, and they are not supposed to do that. Uh, other people have had um, similar issues where, like, warthogs turn black or the entire Spartan turns black completely. It seems to be like a weird lighting or texture glitch. Uh, but anyways, for the next one, for number five... This one has been around since the original MCC for Halo 2, and that is when you punch enemies, uh, and it doesn't matter what enemies you punch, but when you punch them, if they don't die, they actually turn around for some reason. They do like a 360, and if you punch them when they melee you, they, they pretty much still they turn around and melee in the other direction. And this could actually be like a pretty um, useful bug, because when you punch them, they turn around, their backs are to you, and then you melee them, they die instantly. So it could help you, but it's just, it's not supposed to be that way. And you see, it affects every enemy. As soon as you punch them, they instantly like snap around and just turn their backs right to you. And it somewhat confuses the enemies too, why they're like suddenly facing the wrong way. Uh, but like I said, it's not supposed to be like that. But here we are on classic Halo 2 now. See, when I punch the enemies, they, they flinch and then they, they might move backwards a little bit. Um, but they never turn around. They never turn their backs to you when you're punching them. And that applies for every enemy on Halo 2 as well, on Halo 2 Classic. This is on the PC version of Halo 2, actually, to be more specific. But on the original Xbox version, it's the same. When you punch enemies, they don't turn around. Only on Halo 2 Anniversary on Master Chief Collection do they do that. Now, this next one's a fun one that I um, wanted to include. We actually covered this in a couple of videos a long time ago on my channel. Uh, but on the very end of Halo 2, during the very end of the last cutscene, if you keep switching back and forth between Anniversary and Classic, Eventually, at the very end, you end up with this really creepy Cortana glitch where the camera ends up like zoomed in on her face and it's all like her face is all like kind of uh, you're clipping through a little bit and it just looks really creepy. <laughs> um, but, anyway, it's just a little small glitch there. It's not really a big deal, but I just wanted to show that again because I really kind of like that one. This next one, I I'm not sure this happens on lower resolutions, but at least on 4K Halo 2s. Um, me and others have noticed this, but you see right there with the the um, the slip space rupture there, the, the big ball of light basically, it was it was flickering. It flickered a couple times, a few times there. Uh, feel free to like rewind there if you want to take a look at it again to look closely. But anytime there's like a big ball of light or like any kind of like effect like that where there's like a slip space rupture, it tends to uh, flicker a lot. And we'll see it again right here. Um, there, see it flickered once, and this also affects um, like even Tartarus here where his shields kind of flicker a little bit at certain angles. Uh, and I'm not sure if this affects lower resolutions. It might be only like a 4K thing, because um, as you saw on some of my previous videos, the 4K resolution causes some weird uh, texture issues or lighting issues sometimes. Uh, but hopefully that gets fixed soon. Now this next one, this happens when I play Halo 2 Anniversary on other languages. I actually only tested this on um, traditional Chinese so far. But it's like a weird beep that plays at the beginning of this particular cutscene. I'm just going to let you guys listen to it um, right now. So I'll be back after this. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll replay it once too during the, the video. So just in case you miss it. So uh, yeah, I'll be back in uh, a minute. So just uh, listen very closely at the very beginning. Alright, so there you have it. It's a really weird high pitched beep in the very beginning of the cutscene, even when you restart it. Uh, and, you know, I don't think it was there in the uh, original MCC, but I'm not sure. I haven't really played other languages 
uh, too many times. Uh, but so far I've only tested it with Chinese. I'm not sure if it affects other languages either. Now this next one, um, we're going to do this on Halo 3 first, but it's not specific to Halo 3. But back in the day, there was a uh, feature called PanCam on Halo 3, where a certain button combination brings up these coordinates on the screen, which tells you exactly where, you, where your camera is at the moment, or where your player is if you're in first person. And you could eventually use this in theater mode to uh, fly around and get out of the map and do other stuff like that with the fly camera. However, uh, PanCam doesn't really work on MCC anymore. It, all it does is it shows you coordinates, but you can't actually go to theater mode anymore and use the feature to fly around. Uh, but the problem here is, as you can see, the coordinates overlap with the HUD. And it's even worse on the other Halo games, Halo 4 and Halo 2 Anniversary, as in they don't even show up at all. They kind of, they're off the screen. It has to do with like, new resolution. Uh, but anyways, this next one I will also let you listen to. It's the uh, subtitles are just simply out of sync with the anniversary cutscene. So just pay attention to the subtitles. I do not trust you. He may, but I do not. Noted. My friend's trust is not the issue today, Spartan Lock. It is my trust you must earn. Arbiter? You are a hunter, yes. A seeker of things. That's not the official job title, but it's close enough. And now you hunt other Spartans. I'm not so much hunting a Spartan as I'm hunting the spark. Alright, so uh, there you have it. Uh, you probably noticed that the subtitles are a little faster, a little ahead of the anniversary cutscenes. Uh, and this particular cutscene is probably one of the worst ones as far as uh, out of sync subtitles. But it pretty much affects all of anniversary. Uh, some cutscenes are better than others and some are worse than others. Uh, but in classic mode, the subtitles are perfectly fine. They are pretty much in sync. It's only in anniversary mode that they're a little out of sync. And speaking of subtitles, I'm not going to really make a video of this, but there are a lot of incorrect subtitles throughout the entire game. Uh, there's some misspellings, there's some um, like poor punctuation or you know other like issues or even just wrong words and stuff like that. But it's uh, some of them have been around since the beginning, and I don't think they'll be fixed, but it's not really a big deal. I just wanted to point it out. But anyways, that basically wraps it up for this video. That is uh, 10 of the new glitches and some remaining ones that we've uh, found so far in um, Halo MCC Insider Flight 3. Uh, if we find any more, we'll be sure to, uh, to, cover, make, to cover them in future videos. Uh, but anyways, other than that, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like as always. And uh, as always, if there's anything we missed or any other bugs you found or anything you want, me, you want us to check out in general, just uh, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to look into them. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!